Next time you're traveling along Highway 61, keep an eye out for the big white semis with the initials ALS on the side. Look a little closer and you'll notice their hometown is Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Located off 97th Street in the city's business park, American Business Group has been in town since 2002. We have about six different business entities. Some are more administrative support services, and then we have the three main entities. So we've got American Agco, which is a commodities brokerage or trading department. We have American Distribution and Manufacturing Company, which is a wholesale distribution company. That's by far the largest one. And then we have American Logistics Services, which is a supply chain management company. The three companies work a lot together to service our customer base. Customers are mostly retail sellers who need products on their store shelves. Items like pet food, hobby farm products, wild bird seed, boots, and more. This multi-generational family-owned business originally started in South St. Paul. We had two manufacturing plants, we had our corporate offices, we had our major warehouse there. And then we had a, I'll call it our pet warehouse, up in Invergrove Heights. They were looking to combine their facilities into one location when a contractor suggested they check out land in Cottage Grove. And from the time uh, he suggested that to us to the time we broke ground here was less than five months. And that's one of the things that we loved about Cottage Grove is they were practical and said, what do you need us to do? We love that because that enables us to grow, which enables the city to grow. Nine years later, they are ready to grow again as John takes us outside to see the new 100,000 square foot building expansion that has been under construction since summer. Basically what we went from was and just shy of 160,000 square feet on our first two buildings. We added on to the second building 100,000 square feet. Kind of phase two of this expansion, which is kind of invisible to everybody, is we're expanding our offices in building one. We're doubling our office space. That'll be starting in January. We'll go from about 15,000 square feet to 30,000 square feet of office space. The company expects to add over 60 new jobs over the next year, ranging from sales, administration, marketing, and warehouse staff to truck drivers and mechanics. My grandfather used to say this all the time. He'd say, if you take care of your employees, you take care of your customers, they take care of you, and you don't have to worry about it. It's just something we've always focused on, and we just believe that if you do that, things work out, and like I said, we're very fortunate it has so far. <laughs> we're a big business, but we don't act like big business, and we don't want the local community to look at us like somebody that's you know, off on the hill and they're unapproachable. We want to be part of this town and help the town grow because they've done so much for us.